What's been your easiest year here in Los Angeles as a filmmaker? And then what's been your most challenging? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I feel like the most challenging was probably right after the Bannon way. I feel like I feel like I had um, I had expectations that it was supposed to go a certain way, and there's so many meetings, there's so many possibilities that I thought could happen that just didn't happen. And so there was like a year of like nothing really working out and like a whole year went by of just nothing. Like no projects that got greenlit, no pro no acting stuff. It was sort of a weird time. Um, and I think it all, again, that's what I said, like I feel like there's a, there's a part of me that gets seduced by the idea that I'm entitled now because I've had some success or like that success of this will lead to something else rather than enjoying the process and enjoying like that's what i did that's i'm done now gloves on start working again um you know my wife just finished a, a, a series and you know it's so easy to get sucked into like oh i'm just gonna get another job right after this or even when you're in the job like oh this is gonna lead to something else and we were in it going we just be grateful that you're doing this let's be grateful i'm doing this because it's not about you know the, getting the next thing based on this thing because careers are all over the place. Um, I feel like the easiest year that I had was probably two years ago prior to um, Davis being born where I was just doing tons of action that was just showing up to what was in front of me and not really focusing on, you know, having to get a meeting or get a thing and just like, oh, I'm creating, I'm writing. Oh, okay, I'm doing this today. And it just felt like, oh yeah, like the flow of just, you know, like I was saying, that wall of stuff that just kept happening. And there was acting stuff, there was directing stuff, there was writing stuff, hired to write, hired to write this script, hired to produce this thing. And it just felt like there was a, like a, um, a balance of being creative all the time. And I could tell you, I can't tell you what I was doing differently, specifically from the year before or the year after, except that there was a an acceptance of like okay this is what you know today this is what i'm doing you know i'm not like i have to be doing this thing this is what has to be happening i'm not working hard enough I'm like okay i did all those things now let's go to the beach I'm like literally let's go to the beach let's drive out there in traffic to get to the beach <laughs> enjoy it and then drive back in traffic back home and just like oh that was really nice you know and then things happen so um i think that those are more recent. I'm sure that I've had other years where, you know, they were worse or, or, or easiest, but um, those are sort of examples of me thinking I'm, you know, I know more than, than uh, I guess it's more of an entitled thing. I think I really feel like, you know, a lot of, a lot of people feel like once we've got to a certain thing, you can just, you know, I mean, I have, like I said, I have, uh, this group of friends that are writers and showrunners and directors and you know they can't get their projects made they're getting postponed at Cinemax they're you know get you know wrote a script almost there with X company on this studio with this network and there's a one of six that don't get picked you know and it's like oh okay so it's not just me you know um, and they're still figuring out like do I get a uh, uh, staffing job do i try to sell another pilot what do i do you know there's no nobody's ever made it you know I mean, there's like the jj abrams and the spielbergs but then there's like thousands and hundreds of thousands of the rest of us trying to you know figure out and navigate this thing and um i think it's just you know it's easy to think that it's you know once you get this one little thing you know even just one show i was talking in front of my he had a show and he hasn't worked in four years it's not you know it's not it's not something that's guaranteed you know the success of one thing doesn't guarantee success right after or even you know it could be 10 years um that's why you have to always be creating and be okay when you don't have something and okay when you have something because you know our life is not going to be i don't think a trajectory of this i think it's constantly you know finding you know finding a piece and uh uh, a, com a place of um, inner peace throughout this rocky thing that I'm okay, okay, this is awesome, but I don't have to get, you know, 
so excited that I'm going to, you know, my life is over if it doesn't happen. And then when things are horrible, not to think it's going to be like this the rest of my life. It's like, nah, that's how it is today. Do you think being a dad has balanced you out in that sense? I think being a dad has definitely put focus on um, less about me and less about sort of this entitlement of all this other stuff. I think what the pressure on that I have on myself now is, oh, yeah, no, I have an hour and a half to finish something. I need to do it. Like, I've, I've got to write that. I've got to finish this thing. I've got to send these emails out because he's going to be up or she's gone. I have a meeting. We both have a meeting. How are we going to be, you know? Um, I think there's, that has taken away some of the pressure of uh, the succeeding. Is less, is, has taken away the, the sort of the, I have to hurry up and succeed. It was sort of in my mind, like, hurry up and succeed so then I can, have baby, you know, and we have that now we now we can have that. And it's like, no, we're not going to ever get to the place where we want to be to have a baby. Let's have a baby now. And now that we have the baby, it's like, oh, my gosh, she's the most amazing. Oh, we have a meeting. OK, cool. Is it 12? OK, great. But look how amazing you are, you know, and I think that that's been the biggest the biggest thing. It's like it's not none of that stuff feels as precious as it used to be. You know, I mean, you can still feel upset when things don't happen, but the preciousness is like, you know, we're like, oh yeah, there's this. It used to be that with our dogs. Now it's like, now we have him and the dog and you know.